Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they're having trouble with it. They said they've worked on it for hours because uh, they used to be able to do it. And this was the way it looked and they could work with it. But now he's having trouble. He's just going to uh, use different colors and engrave this. In. And John, if you're watching this, which I know you are, uh, you just had a red hairline around that. And it was only half inch. So I changed it to a black hairline. It made it look better because these are not fonts anymore. They're curves because there's no font there. But what he wants to do, he wants to be able to cut this out after he engraves it. So I'm going to set my nudge distance. First of all, I turn your duplicate distance to zero, zero, because when you make a duplicate of this, you don't want to have it jump a quarter of an inch. And the flag is about 10 inches long, so I've changed the nudge factor to 12. So I'm going to make a duplicate of this, Control D, and I'm going to move it over. And that's why you don't want your offset at a quarter, quarter. So now we can work on this, and, and I don't know exactly how it's going to work, and there's probably several ways you could do it. Uh, you could try welding it and going up to effects and go to contour and contour out on the outside. And it's taking just some time because there's so much stuff, but that didn't work because it actually contoured the inside. So let's back up here and try another avenue. Let's take it all, go to range and combine it, and then try to contour it. And that didn't work, it's doing the same thing. So the last resort would be able to take it and take away all the fill, change everything to red just so we could see it better. And all he's trying to do is get a contour of this shape. Of course, you could trace it, but I'm just going to try this. I'm just going to take the the um, virtual segment delete key and just start deleting some lines. And this is a little bit tedious, and I'm probably sure there's another way to do it, but this is one sure-fired way to do it. Now, you could possibly... See, these are broken up lines. And that, if we move that, you see, it's part of that line. So we need to get rid of all this interior. And you might be able to do something with, um, you know, back minus front. Now, these stars are going to be a bit more difficult, but um, we'll go to these ones first. Get rid of that line. And as long as you don't touch... That exterior line, the virtual segment delete key is not going to cut it. And there's actually a way you can use the control key or alt key. And and I might have nicked that line right there. No, it's good. So we just got one more letter. And then we'll move up to this top, which is a little bit harder. But as long as you don't nick that line, it should work. We got one more thing to do. And see, this might even be a, see, there's a hairline and another line. Let's see what happens when we move that hairline out of the way. Anyway, regardless, then just take your Smart Fill tool and fill that in and move it down. We can get rid of this now. I grabbed an indexing line. Get rid of this. We can left click, no fill, right click hairline and move it up and move it over. And now you have a hairline around that omit, or that image. And I know that will work. Now, because you drew this, I don't know that these other lines are hairlines. And they're going to cut out. Maybe. I might have clicked on the other line. So if you trust that, what I would do if I was going to do this myself, and if this is the size you're going to do it, no matter where it is in the plaque, you're going to do it. I would grab my hairline and move it off the page. And I would engrave this. See, there's a red line right there that I did not see. So we, let's see if we can grab that and just delete it. So I would engrave that. You know what? That red line is supposed to be a back black line. Let's bring it back in. And change it to black. I think it's a half a point black. So there we go. 
Now, I would engrave this and don't do a combination job. And then with this selected, you can run it right back over there. And when you go to print and go to your epilogue or whatever brand you're using and go selected and view pro, uh, preview, you're only going to vector this. There, Even if there's other vector lines in there, it's only going to vector this cut. So that's always a safe way to do it is to uh, do them in separate passes and, and that way you know what you got. You could actually do it another way. You could grab this hairline and move it off the screen. You could group this together, control G, run that job and then move that off the screen and move this one back and then cut it. And then that way you know that there are no hairlines. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. And thank you for watching. And John also, well, I already told you that I've changed this. Um, it just had a red hairline around it. That's why it looked red. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.